the problem is when you emulate it in software, you know, it's like, it's really slow. <laughs> so, you know, when you play a game and you're, you're looking at your computer or monitor or whatever, it's refreshing 30 to 60 times a second. If you're a professional gamer, you probably have it going at like 120 times a second, you know, frames per second. This emulator runs at one frame every 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to have to debug this thing in software to save this time going at one frame every 30 seconds. <laughs> it's just insane. That's brutal. They're basically making this trade off of, okay, if we want to ship something in nine months, we don't have time to actually have it execute on the hardware. So we are going to make the trade off of our testing being mind numbing, like running whatever our graphics tests are, where we're looking for like this certain specified output. We need to plant someone in front of a screen to watch the new frame render once every 30 seconds and look against some tests to verify that the output is correct. And if it is, and this person does that mind-numbing work and sits there just observing and observing and observing, then we will go right to manufacturing without ever producing a physical prototype and ship that. And that is exactly what they do. <laughs> <laughs> they have to spend a million dollars just to get the emulator, you know, hardware and software to, to do this. Which I think they had generated some revenue, but it was still like a third of the cash that they had in the entire bank account. So they go down to six months until they're cash out in the company. 